Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. ready right now and we're about to head to the airport in a little bit and I'm so excited I can't wait to vlog and share everything with you guys I don't know where we're going yet um, so I'm gonna find out with you pretty much but I'm stoked and before I get ready I wanted to do a quick haul for you guys thank you to Zavi again for sponsoring this video I did another haul from Zavi a few videos back um, and they just launched their fall winter collection that I'm excited to share with you guys. The fabric is just so soft and nice. The quality is just incredible. And a lot of their pieces are made with like recycled or organic fabric and they're very, very focused on sustainability. So this is the first outfit I wanted to quickly show you guys. I feel like this would also be just like the most comfortable airport outfit too, because it's so cozy and it's so soft. This is the top. It comes with like buttons so you can like button it all the way up and it's kind of just like a cinched bottom so it's really stretchy and form-fitting and then the bottoms are these high-waisted kind of joggers in a way and I paired them with my New Balance sneakers because that's just like the most comfortable airport fit for me sneakers or slides and a comfy set like this so this is the first outfit and I'm about to show you outfit number two this cream turtleneck top. I paired it with my high-waisted jeans. We have this taupe kind of coat from Zavi. I love it. I got this in like three sizes, I think, bigger than normal. I paired it with my cream slides. This could also be another airport outfit. I love that you can take off the coat if you're getting really hot or put it on if you're getting cold, whatever the case may be. I just love the feel of this coat. It's heavy. It's oversized. I'm gonna have everything linked in the description for you guys if you're interested in any of these pieces. And again, don't forget to use my code Gurgana for free shipping on your order. I'm about to get ready, finish packing, and I'll see you guys at the airport. Okay, we just got to our hotel and I'm going to give you guys a quick room tour because this place is amazing. So here is kind of like the living room area and then you come out here on the balcony. Guys, this is incredible. 
I am obsessed. This is so pretty. So we have the balcony from our bedroom. There's La <laughs> taking a photo. And this is the view right now. It is, what time is it? 4.53 if you can see that. So the sun is kind of starting to set a little bit, but not yet. Um, and we're kind of pretty high up in Capri. We have the little snack fridge right there, which I'm about to go ham. This is our bedroom. So cute. So many fun colors. And this bed looks so plush. I'm obsessed. And then here is the, um, the exit into the balcony from the bedroom. This is the closet area and a little makeup area to get ready in also the view from the bathtub incredible i can't i'm not over it and then there's a shower i believe that's the toilet area well oh and the toilet area even has a cute little chair for our anniversary trip. I'm surprised that he was able to surprise me because I'm really good at surprises and guessing them beforehand. We're getting ready right now to go grab food. We came to Naples and Lau's luggage was missing. So we've just been dealing with that and it's been a nightmare because we're obviously here for our anniversary trip and he planned it all out and wanted it to be really special and it's so sweet and now he has no clothes with him and we're just worried that it was probably stolen and it's just a nightmare and we've been trying to call the airline and we were talking to the lost and found people at the baggage claim at the airport and they were just so rude we paid for priority to make sure our bags were good, came out quick and fast in the beginning and we had no issues. Well, like thought through everything and wanted this to be a really seamless and amazing trip for us. And I just feel so incredibly bad. It's like as if I lost my own bag. We've been trying to call the airline and we've just been put on hold. We haven't pretty much been able to talk to a human being about this. It's so frustrating and I'm going to lose it and snap very soon. Changing my outfit because I feel like it's a little chilly. Um, a little too chilly for me coming from Miami where it was a lot warmer. But it's still not cold. Lau thinks it's like hot. I think it's chilly. I just like the heat. And for me, like, it needs to be hot, hot for me to think it's hot. If that makes sense. I don't think a lot of places are hot unless they're literally, I'm sweating. And I'm not sweating, I'm actually shivering. So, originally we were thinking of extending our trip and going to more places in Italy, but with no suitcase, I'm crossing my fingers, praying we have information tomorrow. And they said they were gonna deliver it to the hotel. But mind you, we're on an island. So I'm like, how are you gonna deliver it to the hotel? They said they're gonna deliver it nonetheless. So let's see if that happens, but I'm just praying they find it, I don't care. We literally will go back and get it ourselves. It's just, it's a little bit more challenging transportation wise because you have to get a boat, um, but we'll do it anyways. It sucks because he like went shopping for the trip and like got all these pieces that he loved and was so excited to wear and I just feel so bad. We're making the best of it. I know we're gonna have an amazing time nonetheless. I'm going to find this suitcase no matter what and we're gonna have the best trip ever. So I will keep you guys posted on what happens.
You guys, we just walked back. Because I'm like, no, we need to go back to the room. I need to call Swiss. I'm going to call every fucking person I can find on Google and get this luggage back. We Let me tell you, we walked back into the lobby. Why is this so zoomed in? Oh, my God. We walked back into the lobby. And before we left, the concierge here was so nice. They knew our situation. They were like, you know, they live here. And they have contacts to, like, contact about these situations because we're not the obviously the first and the last people that are gonna lose luggage. And the girl downstairs had these contacts. She's like, let me see what I can do and just see if I can find it and expedite the process because we also don't speak Italian and I can tell that's like a big barrier. I'm like, fuck, what am I gonna do? So I was ready to call all sorts of customer service lines that I could find. But the woman downstairs, we come back and we're literally headed back. I'm like, babe, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna do, no, I'm gonna do like a little bubble bath. I need to relax. I'm gonna chug a bunch of water, hydrate. It's only like seven o'clock here. I'm gonna hop on emails because everybody's still working back in the US. So I have a bunch of work stuff to do. It's Monday. And I'm like, I'm gonna call my mom and I'm gonna get on the fucking phone with um, the airline and figure this shit out. We come back into the hotel, the lobby. The woman's like, I found your bag. And we're literally like, Lyle's like jumping up and down. He's on the floor. He's like dying. I'm so excited. Apparently, our bag is in Naples. And I don't know what the fuck happened. But we're going to pay them pretty much to do what they can do. And they can expedite the transport here. So it'll arrive tomorrow morning. And she was like, we can get it to you here tomorrow morning if you let the airline deliver it since they have to go through all these things and we're also on the island it'll probably take them like one or two days to deliver it i'm like do what you gotta do we need the bag tomorrow that was freaking out because he picked a special outfit for our anniversary dinner that he planned out and it's still a surprise i don't know what we're doing i know we're getting dinner somewhere but he is like so excited about it and he felt so sad he's like I don't care if I have to wear this one outfit I have the whole trip as long as I have my anniversary dinner outfit. I'm like, I'll go buy you an outfit tomorrow. I feel so bad. So I'm so, 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 so happy that they found the suitcase. We're getting it tomorrow morning. He's so excited. He's like, our trip is back in action. I don't want to get too excited till we see the luggage tomorrow because you never know what could happen these days. But I think, I think we're getting somewhere here. So. I'm waiting for him to come back up because he went to go leave this paperwork with the concierge and he's coming back up. I'm gonna chug a bunch of water. I'm about to run the bath. It's been a long, long day of travel and I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. Do I feel like a headache from the stress of today? Do I feel jet lagged? Am I tired? It's like a six hour difference. I didn't sleep that much on the flight. I tried to, but the flight wasn't even long enough. Our first flight was it we had two flights and a layover so we were miami to zurich zurich to naples and then from naples we had to take a boat to capri capri and i think our the luggage got lost from zurich to naples but it's been just a long day of travel so much has gone on so i'm excited to just chill take a bubble bath call my mom hop on emails, hang out with Lyle, and just enjoy the rest of the night. We're probably gonna call it bedtime soon, wherever my phone, wherever my phone is. Where the fuck is my phone? Oh my God, it's in my pocket. Fuck me. guys it is 
Tuesday morning. My stuff will be here at 11, 20. Yay, 20. what time is it right now? Well, so, so 10, 50. 10, 50 in the morning. And Lyle's suitcase is arriving soon, yay! I'm out here and I was working, having some coffee. Got dressed, I showed you guys my outfit a second ago. I don't know if I'm gonna go with this outfit, I was just trying on pieces and seeing kind of what the vibe was. Um, it's a little bit nicer today. I think I'm gonna wear more of my warmer outfits today and tomorrow because this weekend's supposed to rain. And yeah, we had the yummiest breakfast this morning. The food is obviously phenomenal and top notch and the quality is so good so we had the most amazing pasta i had seafood pasta last night i had ravioli and it was delish um and we worked a little bit last night and then we passed out and i had a hard time sleeping which i never do like i never have problems sleeping i can s fall asleep like this and stay asleep all night but last night was a little bit hard because we we're trying to figure out the ac situation could not figure it out there was like noises going on and i just could not sleep that well but i still got i feel refreshed i still got enough sleep i think um and now we're waiting for a suitcase to arrive and then we're gonna start exploring don't know where we're walking but we're just walking the little paths and streets and seeing what's out there and just enjoying this gorgeous day it's honestly beautiful out here and i can't it's so pretty and it's so peaceful we're here off season so it's not touristy and crowded or anything like that it's absolutely peaceful and silent Walking is making it's also hot outside, so it's making my feet swell. And we're walking back to our hotel right now, so I can change pretty much because we want to keep walking. We just got a quick lunch, literally, just got fresh orange juice and some snacks, and sat down for like a sec, which made my feet swell even more. And when I got up, I was like, Oh my god, my feet feel like different feet right now, and my shoes don't even fit. Um, so we're walking back to change it's a lot of hills well we are on an island right babe well it's like a mountainous island he's looking at his photo right now what's up i just took some fire photos of you didn't i i sure did, I sure did. i'm literally out of breath walking up this hill and my feet are so bad so i do do pilates but that doesn't train your feet cardio yeah, no, I can do this. Relax. I'm still out of breath though. It's stunning. Oh my God, look at that tree. It's so beautiful. Look at that tree. You should go climb it. 
Okay. We want to see the other side of the island, so I'm literally going to go change into like jeans, a tank top, and flats. And take off this hat because also my head is sweating underneath. Probably put my hair up, I don't know. And go enjoy our walk again and see more stuff. And then we're probably going to go back, relax, work a little bit, then go to dinner. I think we want to go to like a bar tonight. Even though we're here off season, several places are closed and like the only club or something like that or lounge that was here they told us yesterday is like closed but there's a really cool bar they recommended so we're gonna check them out or check it out later so we're walking back now Day for you guys we are in a new room a brand new room Ow. we just had to move rooms we got back from our little lunch walk situation and our electricity in our room just would not turn on and they couldn't figure out what the hell is going on um, this balcony is a little bit different but it's also stunning and the room is ginormous like Bedroom again going out into the balcony Huge living room like look at this place and then there's I kind of don't feel like doing another room tour <laughs> I'm kind of doing it right now um, the bathroom area if you could see Closets back here. Let me flip this around Like so many closets pretty much like never ends and then I just love all the artwork in this um, hotel too. It's so dope. And then the restroom is over here, chandeliers. Wait, does this place also have a tub like the last one? Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. And I believe this tub. Goes into the bedroom? Yep, goes into the bedroom. It's like a double mirror sitch. And there's the bedroom, there's the balcony door. And then the other balcony door from the living room. But. Long story short, we had no electricity in the room, so we had to move rooms. And then I had to get so much work done and do like answer some urgent emails and stuff. And that's kind of what I did for the last couple of hours. And then um, just literally got ready, just touched up my makeup in like three minutes, put my hair down, added a blazer to the outfit I had on earlier. And now we're going to dinner. I don't know what our plan is. We're going to this really, really famous Restaurant that apparently has bomb food and normally during peak season like in the summer You can't get a rezzo for like four or five months But it's not peak season. We came in off season. So we got a rezzo same day So I'm stoked to try out the pasta apparently the pasta is so good So I'm really excited for that and then I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go get a drink somewhere Probably come not probably we will come back after <laughs> because we have an early, early, early morning. I wanna make sure we get up and get breakfast in time. Anniversary is tomorrow. Lal has a whole day planned. And I think I'm gonna end up cutting the vlog, this vlog, after this night ends, and then doing a whole new vlog for the anniversary day. Um, yeah. 